So I will read and then we can share nicely. Good. Will Rupa Manjari lead you on the path? <laughs> Will Rupa Manjari lead you on the path with Lalita and Vishaka on your two sides? Your friends all around you and me holding your brittle waste from behind. Will Rupa Manjari lead you on the path with Lalita and Vishaka on your two sides? your friends all around you and me holding your brittle waist from behind. Explanations from Srila Anandadas Baba Kichai. In Smarana, dreams and in visions Sri Raghunath feels the vicinity of Sri Radharani and he experiences Srimati's most coveted form fragrance touch, sound, and taste. Now he sees Swamini going to Nandishwara to cook for her beloved Mohan. How vivid is the experience of the perfected souls? Siddha Krishna Das Babaji of Govardhan has written O Queen of my heart, as Kundalata holds your hand and you walk along with Lalita and other Sakis, I will follow you with a pitcher of water. Kundalata asks you so many rasika, playful questions and you happily converse with your girlfriends. Your hairs will stand on end and your gait will falter as you experience the bliss of Krishna consciousness. It's great ecstasy. Swamini goes to Krishna to make him happy 
with her service. The nature of Brahma is that it just wants to make Krishna happy. Sri Chiva Goswami has described the grounds to Brahma. In Briti Sandarva 61, first, the soul of Briti is the desire to make Krishna happy or to be favorable to his happiness. Second, the arising of different desires in the lover for the sake of Krishna's happiness. Third, when Krishna is happy, the lover is happy. The first of these is the constitutional hallmark, Swarup Lakshana, of Brahma. And the other two are the marginal hallmarks, Tatashta Lakshana. The extraordinary constitutional position of Brahma is the exclusive aim to make its object happy. The desires arise in the heart of the loving devotee to make Krishna happy with different devotional services. that please him and that help the devotees to attain him. The awareness that Krishna is happy gives the devotee boundless bliss. although he does not have his desire for personal happiness fulfilled. The happiness of the abode of love is the happiness of the object of that love. This is not a relationship of desire for personal happiness. It is one of causeless love. The reservoir of love becomes happy when the object of love is happy. Nade Goravani. Yes. I have a question that you can explain this very uh, blissful verse of Chaitanya Taitamita. Because it's actually connected to this very uh, deep desires of Krishna 
why he appeared as Mahaprabhu. And also, it has so much to do with our Swami. Maybe we can share on this. I think oh, yes. it's so it's so we can share on this. Although I don't have any realization on that, but I can try to give some. Everybody. Um, and everybody should also give something. So it is said in the Chaitanya Chart Amrita that there are some. Uh, how you say, uh, Gründe? Reasons. reasons. Yes. There are some inner reasons why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came. So if we see it in this connection, we can understand that actually Krishna has to take care of everyone, all different kind of rasas he has to accept but his real inner consciousness is that he is always completely deeply in the ocean of Mahabhav he wants the connection with Mahabhav and he wants to serve Mahabhav, because he is so overwhelmed. <laughs> he is flooded by Mahabhav, and he is Mahabhav. losing himself in Mahabhav. Like Swamini is losing herself now on this way. That's why she needs to be uh, with her, uh, not only with her Sakis, he needs really she needs, uh, how do you say, uh, support, uh, confidential, confidential services. Not only the outer help, she needs really confidential services, which is hidden before her friends, which are around her. But the mandris can give this seva, like here, Tulsi Manjari. Why she is taking the waste and holding the waste? Why she is taking it, really? On which lila she is thinking in this moment? and? on which Lila she is reminding Swamini in this moment. Everybody who is reading Vilap Kusumanjali can understand what kind of Lila she is reminded. It's very intimate. So it's not just outer service, it's a very deep service. So this service, usually Krishna cannot feel in his position. And this is what he wants. He wants to come here in this world, not only to feel it himself, what ecstasy the mantras have in their service, he also wants to distribute this and nobody before was ever giving that. This is the extraordinary position of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So he is giving us the highest confidential taste and he also wants to get a glimpse how Radharani loves him, Krishna. And so he's changing his moods. But you can say more deep, you can share 
more deep on this subject. So please. No, everybody, huh? Tarun Baba, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Radhe. Radhe, Radhe. Radhe, Radhe. But Gauravani was nicely starting. I think Gurudev is very happy to listen to you. Not much more to explain. Very beautifully said. Um, actually, the three reasons, the three inner reasons Mahaprabhu appeared, uh, written down by Swarup Damodar in his notebook. And uh, like Gauravani said, it is very, very confidential and very special. And it is the heart of Raganuga Bhakti. So the first reason is how glorious is Radhika's love for me. So what is this speciality? So what kind of love? What kind of love is this that Radhika feels for me? This Krishna wants to know. And this can only be experienced, like Gauravani said in Manjari Bhav Sadhana, not in any other sadhana, because what Radharani, what the glories of Radhika's love can only be experienced by the Manjaris. Like when we take this verse, Gauravani just read 59, it's very, very, Baba many times hints at the speciality of the verse, because when you read it again, it is said, who is leading Radhika? <laughs> no. Vishaka, Vishaka and Lalita is not leading Radhika. And the girlfriends are not leading Radhika. They are there to protect her and to serve her. But who is leading Radhika? Rupa Manjari is leading Radhika. So here we see that this is also, we read the verse and then we, by the creeper of Sadhu Maharaj and my Gurudev and the exalted Vaishnavas, we can get a glimpse that actually, in, even in the verse, we can see how glorious is Manjari Bhav, because only Ruba Manjari can lead Radhika. She leads her. She knows exactly what Radhika wants to do, where she wants to go, what is on her mind. And Lalita and Vishaka, they are not even able to come into the uh, Bauer house into the Nikunjas when the intimate Leelas are taking place. So they are there, they know, but they cannot experience that. So how glorious is Radhika's love? No? This can only be felt when we follow Rupa Manjari, when we follow Rupa Goswami Pat as our main Acharya, as our beloved Rupa Manjari and Raghunath Das Goswami as Tulsi or uh, Rati Manjari. So even from the first, we can see that Rupa Mantra is so much important in this thing. And the second thing is, how does she relish my wonderful sweetness through this love? So first of all, what is that speciality of this love? This is the most highest selfless love. That is the most special thing. Radhika's love for Krishna is the highest, Madanakya Mahabhav, the highest selfless, most ecstatic love, which is to be felt to a great extent in the hearts of the Manjaris. So this is this love, Krishna as Goranga, he wants to know how does Radhika relish it? Now we know what the love is, now how to relish it. And then Mahaprabhu is saying how to relish it in a very, very three, four verses in the Chaitanya Charitamrita. Mahaprabhu is giving us clearly how we have to relish this by practicing Raganuga Bhakti in the mood of a manjari. So, this is how he himself sometimes in the Chaitanya Charitamrita is very ecstatic that he sometimes he himself experiences the bhav of the manjaris. No? And in various, I'm not an ex expert on Chaitanya Charitamrita, but I know that in several places we can see when he sees the Yamuna, when he sees the, when he mistakes the, the, the Ganga for the Yamuna and all these things. And sometimes even Mahaprabhu has traces of Manjari Bhav in his heart. So he relishes it, it. So how does Radhika relish it? This is the second inner reason, the second 
most important reason for Goranga Mahaprabhu to appear in this world. And he relishes it by practicing Raganuga Bhakti and Manjari Bhav. And the third reason is how much bliss? What is this bliss that she realizes? No? This ecstatic symptoms she feels when uh, there is one Hila Kinshit, Sunita, do you know better this when all moods appear at one time? How how far out, how ecstatic is that? You know, and the, and these things he cannot experience in Vrindavan. How? So he has to he has to appear as Mahaprabhu to experience all this wonderful, wonderful, blissful, ecstatic experience of Radhika's heart. This is the third reason. First, what is the speciality of the love? How to relish it? And the second one, well, what is this experience? What does she feel when she experiences that? What is this kind of, what bliss is that? So this has to be experienced by Mah this, this he wants to experience Krishna. And so he appears as Mahaprabhu, but Gurang, uh, Guravani made even a more important point. That is the three inner reasons Mahaprabhu wants to experience it. But like he said, the most important thing for us sadhakas is to know this, but, better, but much more important it is that we can also practice it. He gave it to us. So this huge, huge present, this huge gift has never been given before. And so we can really, really dive deep into that uh, Manjari Bhav, which is how to relish it. This is how glorious Radhika's love is for me, is only felt by the Manjaris. And we can see here in this verse to come to an end that actually we can see that who is leading Radhika, Rupa Manjari is leading Radhika. So our, our position is always to, to be Rupa Nuga, to follow Rupa Goswami Pad, Raghunath Das Goswami, Rupa Rati Manjari, and our Guru Manjari. These are the dream team in Raghunuga Bhakti. When we follow those personalities, even if we don't see them, we know they are there, and then we can taste this highest nectar. This is the specialty of Manjari Bhav. Jai Radhe. Jai I just yeah, listen to all these beautiful impressions and expressions. I feel like there's one very important point too. When Madhurya turns into Audarya, there appears Sri Chaitanya. So Madhurya is very confidential. Actually, uh, Madhurya, uh, you cannot explain to everybody. You, you're always a little um, hampered in doing this. You have some, some of the audience to whom you can talk about Madhurya is very limited. But when you go into Audarya, Audarya means the appearance of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, right? So he is actually the exposer, the, the most exposer of Raganuga. So there comes an in, in, interesting point, what I feel, and I was meditating in front of the altar of Radha Mohan about this. And there was one, one wonderful thing coming, just it appeared, and I want to share it with you. So Audarya means generosity. So there is no limit for everybody. Is. Everybody can come through Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in connection to Madhuri. And when we see in this pastime, what we just heard from Gauravani, we see Rupa is in front and Radhi is behind. She holds uh, the, waist. the waist from, from our dear Swamini. So very carefully. This is also a very nice expression for me. She's very, very much absorbed in this, only holding, holding that, that waist. And, and this is her service in the moment, but she's following Rupa. So that means Rupa Nuga, right? So, but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he came in Audarya, he's giving Raga Nuga all, I mean, Raga Nuga is for, um, for all spontaneous service, you can say, in love. 
So what I feel here is a very nice point. Kudalata and uh, Ishaka and Obe, they are not in Ubanuga. They accompany Radharani. Radhi Manchari is behind. Tuji Manchari is behind. So she is, she is Rubanuga. So every Rubanuga is a Raganuga. But every Raganuga is not a Rubanuga. Right? So when we have on our focus, our totally one-pointedness in our feelings and everything, just only think about Swamini. That means we are following the ones who are doing the same. And this is Upanuga. So Mahaprabhu came, and now the Radhabhav is manifesting that Krishna is becoming the subject, and Radha is the object, right? So that is Radha Bhav. And that is what his experience in the love with Radha. He wants to be her disciple. He wants to be a, a dancing pupil. And her love is so beautiful. And he wants to serve her love. That's it. But now there's also Rupa, that, the Manchari Bhav, which is expressed. So what will happen now? There is already both positions are exposed, both they're occupied. There is the object, it's Krishna, and the object is Radha. But this is what is happening now. Now, Radha also becomes the subject, and the Manchari becomes the, the object. That is actually what Mahaprabhu means. Mahaprabhu means that he wants to give the Manchari bath to everybody. Because it's so exceptional, it is so maduria, it is so confidential, but he cannot give it like this. He has to give it in a hidden way. Through him, through his personality. But then what happens in Gambira? When he's in Gambira, many times he become he overcomes his feeling of, of Manjari Bhav and this, and it's only getting, how we say, getting totally in uh, in emotions, in in, in sattvika bhav, in, in all this, he cannot control himself anymore. And when you read the Angya Lila in Chaitanya Chaitamrita, there is explained Manchari bhav. When he's saying, oh, I was seeing Radha and Krishna. I picked the flowers and Radha and Krishna is going to the kuncha. This is an Andhya Lila. So that means Radha and Krishna are going there and he is observing. So now comes another point, a very nice point. What I got also revealed is, and that has to do with there's Advaita, which means oneness, and there's Paramadvaita, which means the supreme oneness. And this is actually Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu is Paramadvaita. He is the supreme one. We are not interested in becoming one. And for love, he has to divide. So there's Radha and then Mohan. So this exchange, we are observing, and that gives the Ananda. So when Sringa arrives and Mahabhav, it's change, come to an exchange, that means when Radha, Radha, Mahabhav, and Sringa Ras, Krishna, when they come to exchange, then we are watching this and that gives us the Ananda. So that means Mahamantra. When we chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare. That, that's the, the mantra, that's it. Everything is included there. And this is the teaching of Mahaprabhu. That is actually what I, I don't want to extend too much because many want to give their nice and beautiful impressions and and and, and feelings. So that is that is just a oh, short expression. Yeah. Yeah. I hope. I hope. That is, that is. Oh, I have nothing to say. I think how many to me right now? Okay. Continue reading? No, it's many. Yeah. Yeah. 
Govachandra, you want to share on this? Yes, uh, Suniti, we want to hear from you, please. 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 No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very, uh, I just tr like to listen from you because it's nectar and you were uh, in Rindavan with Gurudev. So let us hear something uh, of your feelings. Laura Chandra, are you hiding? Yes, I'm hiding. But I have, <laughs> at the moment, I have nothing to add. I'm also okay. interested in listening. If something coming, I say something. But already everything said. <laughs> and wow, yeah, the nectar is relishing. I'm relishing. Uh, Nadi, Nadi. Nadi. Thank you. And also, don't forget that you speak slowly. I am no, also, we are always so excited. But the translators must also follow. Yeah. So, Gonanga Sundara, who was. Who would like to share more on this? Some inspirations coming? Gopinath? Gopinath, of course, Gopinath. Gopinath. Rather, rather. Today, today in listening mode, please. <laughs> it's so nice, so beautiful, like very nice to meditate with you all shared. Uh, maybe just one thing. Uh, while listening to all of you beautiful souls about your feelings and realization, I actually had this one question, which actually uh, Raghunath Baba answered so beautifully. My question was that when uh, Tarun was talking how Rupa, how the Manjuris are in a very exquisite and privileged position because Rupa is leading and the Sakis and girlfriends are around her, then I wanted to know what is uh, Rati Manjuri's role in that moment when she's behind. And uh, so uh, I, was I, so wanted I wanted to ask this question. Ask this question. <laughs> and then, uh, and then uh, uh, Raghunath uh, just uh, played beautifully. And I'm hearing my own voice again. <laughs> also, Gopinath, so, also, Gopinath, what? she is in, she's in the back position to support, support her. Rupa Goswami is leading and Raghunath Daskaswami is in the most humble position of supporting Radhika. So they are both doing a very, very important job. It's an excellent question, but both are and, working together. Yeah, and, and, and Rati is never losing Rupa out of her eyes. No, She has Swamini, yes. but she's also fixed on her Guru Manjari, you know, because yes. without Guru Manjari, she doesn't know where to, what to do. So she yes. knows she can blind Guru Manjari. While, while she's walking behind Radhika, she's, she's not seeing the way, right? She's only yes. seeing Swamini's way, but she knows that Rupa is taking them there to yes. to the Kunja for the meeting. So this was just a small a small thing I wanted to add. Thank you. In this connection, I wanted to say again that Rati has another service also in this. I feel it's my yes. feeling. Because she always, she's Rati, right? Rupa means the Rup. Rupa Manjari is the Rup of Swamini. So she is leading because the Rup is leading. She wants to meet, so the Rup has to lead. But Rati is giving the engine the power to go, right? Rati means ah. I want, I have some desire. So Rati is giving the engine the power from behind. That's why I said she is holding the waist, but also the movement of the waist is remembering on some lilas. And Radharani wants to have this lila. So this is the power of the engine, why she can have this, why she can go. Although she's stumbling and... So I think that could be mentioned deeper from other souls, but at least this Gurudev is, is also here. Jai Gurudev. You 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 all inspired him now also to to say Gurudev. You wanted to say something. No, you I I didn't hear. 
and where we get the chance to always to catch a run running, always in the service. To touch a right. service, a folding <laughs> service. Others are not in service, but she is always in service. <laughs> What a deep meditation, my God. Um, read more, more beautiful things. Guru, Guru is saying to continue reading more beautiful things are there, so why don't we continue a bit, Gauravani? Every yes. light is a golden words. Chinamaya words. Is, is it all Baba words or Chinmaya? Read us. Go deep with that. We give the example of Sakhi Bhav, Tad Bhav Ikshamay, Sambhoga Ikshamay, and Manjari Bhav. Very clear. Read more read. I like to try say to read <laughs> All the three worlds are delighted by me, but is there any person who can delight me? So Krishna is saying that. A person, only a person who is hundred times more qualified than me can delight my mind. It is impossible for anyone in this world to be more qualified than me. I only experience that in Radha. Although there are many loving devotees in Braj, Krishna became very eager to fathom the greatness of the far most of them. Sri Radha. But it cannot be said that he has fully fathomed that in becoming Gora. Even the Supreme Lord himself could not find the limits to this love. He goes on gogging and relishing it forever. Hence, Gauralila is also eternal. Sri Gaura Sundara kept Radha's mood in the heart. 
And he showed the world that such a love cannot be found anywhere else. Still, I did not understand, and I am deprived of this great gift once more. Sri Swaminiji is the embodiment of Brahma. And if I could surrender to her lotus feet, I would be fulfilled. From the viewpoint of Tattva, it can also be understood that the Shaktiman, the possessor of the energy, is fully controlled by the Shakti, the energy. Radha Puna Shakti, Krishna Puna Shakti Man, Dui Vastu Beda Nahi, Shastera Praman, Chaitanya Charit Amrita. Radha is the full energy and Krishna is the full possessor of that energy. There is no difference between the two. That is proven by the scriptures. In any case, Krishna is fully under the control of Sri Radha. In any case, Krishna is fully under the control of Sri Radha, the personification of complete love. How eager! She is to serve Sham Sundara. Although she has hundreds and hundreds of sakis and mandaris, Ulasavati, blissful Radhika, personally serves him. Whatever she cooks tastes like nectar. Because of the boon bestowed upon her by Durvasamuni. One day, Matakirtita had invited Nanda and Yashoda with their family to enjoy the nectarian food cooked by Sri Radhika. After Mother Yashoda had enjoyed these dishes, and after she had seen how much her Gopal liked to eat them, She said, From today on, my Krishna will not be happy by eating anything else but the dishes prepared by your daughter.
from that day on, Prishabhanu Nandini daily goes to Nandishwara, King Nanda's abode, to cook for Krishna with her sakis. The loving devotee is only happy when the object of his service is happy and he does not like to leave his duty to others. Although Mother Yashoda has hundreds of maidservants, she personally churns Kurt for Krishna and King Nanda personally milks the cows, although there are hundreds of cowherd men who can do that. Swamini stumbles on the way out of ecstasy since she will personally cook for Krishna. Although she also has thousands of sakis and manjaris who could do it. Swamini walks down the road with Kundalata, with Lalita and Vishaka on her either side. And so many Sakis and Manjaris surrounding her. On the way, Swamini makes so many intimate jokes with her friends. Tulasi walks behind her, holding her brittle waist, being afraid that it will break. How much loving care this maidservant takes. How much loving feeling of mindness she feels. When Srimati becomes tired on the way, she holds her arm on Sri Rupa Manjri's shoulder. The practicing devotee should think of him or herself walking behind Swamini also, always worrying about her welfare and comfort. We want the vicinity of our Saviour. Smaran means mental association. This God-realized Smaran can only take place in the heart and mind of someone who is free from the faults of attachment, hatred and so on.
when smarana becomes very intense, this mental association becomes an actual experience. Sripad Ramanuja Acharya teaches When smarana deepens, all other thoughts subside, and the attention becomes one-pointed. which will result in actual experience. When smarana deepens, all other thoughts subside, and the attention becomes one-pointed, which will result in actual experience. I am chanting the holy name, and Sri Gora Sundara is hearing it, mad of ecstasy. This is the kind of experience we want. Bhavite bhavite Krishna spuraye antare By constant meditation Krishna becomes manifest in the heart. When we hear and chant the holy words of the Acharya, we experience the deity's vicinity. Sri Krishna told Bilva Mangala Thakur I have heard all of your words and I am right here with you. Your words sound like nectar to my ears. Therefore, your book will be called Krishna Karna Amrita. The Lord will be happy when the devotee relishes the sweetness of each and every item of bhajan. Then, his practice has become a success. Sri Raghunath has a vivid experience of Sri Mati's going to Nandishwara. And when the vision vanishes, he prays, Hey, Swamini Vinodini! Nandishvare yabe to me, and so on. O Swamini, O Vinodini, the source of Krishna's pleasure. When you go to Nandishvara, the abode of Nanda, in topmost ecstasy, I see. How beautiful you look when you are flanked by your best friends Lalita and Vishaka and surrounded by all your other girlfriends. How many frivolous talks you have with them as you walk along the way.
looking like a marketplace of moons. O oh, beloved of Krishna, when I see that you become tired of walking, I will hold your waist. O oh, Rathe, when I see that you become tired of walking, I will serve you in so many ways, while you lean on the shoulder of Sri Rupa Manjari. who will carefully lead you onwards. When will I see your sweet pastime of illuminating Bracha's pathways? Srila Raghunadas Goswami humbly cries and prays at the lotus feet of Sri Radhika, the queen of the Kunjas. Jai Jai Sri Radhi. This was the wonderful explanation of Ananda Das Babaji and the verse 59 of Sri Vilapa Kusumanjali. Will Rupa Manjari lead you on the path with Lalita and Vishaka on your two sides? Your friends, all and me holding your brittle waist from behind. So, Rade, Rade, some sharings on that. Rade, Rade. This is Bajana Rahasya. which Raghunath so mercifully opened to us fortunate souls. His secret from his heart, Rahasya, of his treasure, Bhajan. His opening the small scenery of this beautiful lila and all devotees can enter deep in through his heart in this beautiful walking of Radhika to Nandeshwar. I remember one more Bhajana Rahasya, which 
Rupa Goswami revealed how he was meditating on the path where Radhika is running towards Nandishwar. And in his meditation, he was throwing the flowers on that path that Radhika doesn't hurt her tender feet. So, this is the value of our Acharyas who are giving the hints of their inner bhajan so that we can follow them and meditate and maybe by their mercy one day it will be Rasa Darshan. So, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you very beautiful, much. very beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Jai Ho, Ranga Sundara. Wow. So nice to listen to your feelings and realizations. Rade, Rade. Yeah, I also want to share some thoughts of mine. So Anantaras Baba is always writing about this extraordinary merciful gift of Sriman Mahaprabhu that he wants to give to all of us. And once I listened from one devotee who said, when we really would understand how much mercy Mahaprabhu is giving to us, we would constantly crying and rolling in the dust. So sometimes I think we don't know or feel deeply how fortunate we are. When we imagine that Mahaprabhu only appears every 1,000 Kali Yugas and that we are wandering through the universe since time immemorial and that we now finally after sometimes going to hell and sometimes to heaven took birth here in the human body and that we could come in contact with the Vedas and the Vaishnava philosophy and that we are not only understand and striving for mukti, for salvation of birth and death, that we are not striving only for going to Vaikuntha or even to become a bridge Pasi in the mood of a friend or a mother, father. And that we are also not striving for becoming a gopi friend of Radhika. That we want to become a Dasi of Sri Rani. The personification of the highest divine love. So that is really, yeah, I think the mind cannot really understand that. And I have difficulty sometimes to feel that really deeply how fortunate we are actually. And yeah, I think it's good that this sadness sometimes coming that I not really understand how much mercy we actually get. 
that we found a guru that realized his mani, his manjari swarup and freely given that to us also. So, yeah, please bless me all that I stop wasting my time with useless things. That I can keep this mood and try to do every day for that goal. And one time I asked Gurudev, Gurudev, honestly, who, when I watch around in this world, who actually catch the point of Manjari Bhav Sadhana? Show me who is teaching that right now. Maybe there are Babas at Radhakon, we don't understand them. They cannot teach to us. So how rare it actually is that we get that also. And Mahaprabhu, he said, he want to give to all the jivas this highest love. But actually, who, who gets it right now? I don't see so many. But then I was thinking that the mission of Mahaprabhu just started. The 500 years ago, it's like nothing compared to our eternal journey in this universe. So how close we are still to his appearance. And yeah, I think we all, we take part of sharing this beautiful highest truth that future generation also can profit from that. Mahaprabhu say he will give that to each and everyone and he want to deliver as many souls as possible. So there will be a bright future. And we are part of that. But at the moment, it's really, really rare. I cannot see. Is God not teaching that deeply in Gaudiya Math? Is not deeply there. Narayan Maharaj was there. To, he gave some hints. Anantadas Baba, of course, but also not so many disciples no? who really get it. So, these were my thoughts that Mahaprabhu, he gives the highest. highest Gora Chandra, Gora Chandra. To the I'm Lord very sorry, Lord. I'm very sorry, my Dandavad, but please, please don't say this. Please don't say that. Many disciples of, of Anandas Babaji don't get it. Maybe you don't know them. Be careful. I'm just wanted to I remind you, be careful. I don't, I don't, I don't sorry, sorry to I'm sorry to interrupt, but be careful with this. Uh, you know, Jai Radhe. Sorry, Tarun Baba, my dear. I wanted to say that there are also not hundreds of thousands of devotees, no? It's also no, it's not thousands. Or, like, there should be more in the future. Sorry if I make an offense. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, I'm just I saying, we know we don't know. I, we have to be careful with such statements. There are not many, you know, but Baba initiated tens of thousands of people. So, in Bengali and in Bombay and everywhere. So they don't speak our language, so we have to be careful. We don't know what they are doing. So that is yeah, only what yeah. I say. I didn't say you make an offense. I just said, please be careful with the saying. That is all I wanted to say. I'm not saying you make any offense. You make a good point. There are not many here who can teach it to us, but they are there. And maybe we don't know them, but they are doing bhajan. I would be careful of saying in this in, the, in this way. This was only what I'm saying. I'm not criticizing you. I'm just giving you advice. I'm understanding. Okay. Good. Yeah. So that 
I wanted to share that we can more appreciate or feel deeply how much mercy we actually get, how fortunate we actually are. So, thank you. Radhe, Radhe. Thank you, Radhe, Radhe. <laughs> Very good point. Radhe, Radhe. Yes, beautiful. This gratitude is so important. And this uh, catching the moment that is important in our life. I also feel I have to learn with this. I want to share one, two things that was touching my... Hey <laughs> <clears throat> First of all, hey, I mean, I I was spending some days now also with a god brother, older god brother of Narayan Maharaj, Rajanath Prabhu. And I feel that he also has so deep realizations. And one point that he shared uh, was that what I also feel here now in this verse is that Mahaprabhu is Krishna who came to learn how to serve Srimati Radhika. And I thought, wow, yeah, that's the point. That's the deepest, one of the deepest realizations that even Krishna himself, he comes to learn the glories of Srimati Radhika because she is serving him so beautifully and so loving and with such a high you know, the highest feelings that anybody can have towards Krishna, the feelings to serve and make him happy that he himself cannot even understand how happy she makes him and where does this happiness come from and how can I catch her mood? So Krishna himself, he wants to learn from her. He is her disciple, her student. And I think in my small attempt to have a bhajan, this is one of the inspirations that that uh, he wants to learn how to serve her because she serves him so much. She is giving all her heart, one point that she's giving everything, her body, her mind, her soul, her everything is him. So he doesn't know even how it feels because he wants to make everybody happy. He has to reciprocate with every soul in this universe. And she is one pointed. So she is coming with him as an ob observer, as Mahaprabhu Gorangi is coming and giving her everything to him. And he is just stunned. He is just fully in ecstasy as Mahaprabhu was showing all the ecstasies. So he tries to really go deep. So why? Because he also wants to serve her. He wants to increase his ability to serve her, which is almost impossible because she is the highest servant. And I just love to meditate about this ashraya, the shelter of Srimati Radhika, who is giving him shelter to Krishna as Goranga Mahaprabhu so that he can feel what she feels and come closer to serve her because she is so overwhelming for him that he cannot think of anything to do to serve her. He always wants to serve her. And uh, because the happiness of Srimati Radhika is to serve him, and her and his happiness, he also wants to become a Shraya Tattva. He wants to feel how it feels to only serve her. And actually, by serving her, he becomes Goranga. I like this meditation. This is uh, my highest uh, you say, aspiration in my heart to always feel them in their Krishna observing. Shimati Radhika giving her love to the whole world, sharing to the whole world. And in this way, uh, when uh, Ananda Das Babaji Maharaj is saying that in his purport, Shimati Radhika is making the pathway to Vrindavan, is enlightening the pathway to Vrindavan. So that is uh, 
beautiful picture that when she's walking there with her girlfriends, Rupa Manjari guiding or leading the way, Rati Manjari holding her waist, giving her support and giving her this stability and giving her the push like Gauravani was saying so nicely, giving her this desire to go there and cook and, you know, please him again and please all the Prajpasis with her love. Then this is like enlightening the path to Vrindavan. And I understand it also as we need this enlightenment of Swamini's love. Like this Raghavatma Chandrika, the hidden path of devotion, all this is, is actually it's her who is enlightening us at the moment. Because without her, everything becomes very uh, difficult to please Krishna or to try to come closer actually in the service, in this understanding of Krishna consciousness. So I like this. And also, of course, the points that Gurudev has given the last Zooms about Smaran, how it becomes more deep, go deep in the remembrance and touch the lotus feet of Swamini by reading the books of Vilapa Kushmanjali, Rataras, Sudhaniti, and listening from the self-realized souls like all of you. I'm so proud to be in your association. Thank you, Radhe. She really spoke so nice. Just something came to my heart, and that is what we recently read. And it's a very nice expression. I love it. It says that Radha is the birthplace of Krishna. Cash to me the same morning, and he read, Yes, it's like this because there's this verse Mahabhav Chintamani Radhara Swaru that Radha is born out of the listening thought chant of God. So then Radharani appears, but she looks around, she looks here, she looks there, she looks up, she looks down. She looks all around, but she cannot find whom she loves because she doesn't want to love God. She doesn't want to love Aishwarya. She doesn't want to love Majesty. She wants to love somebody who now she's thinking of herself. And this is our Mohan. And then... After she's looking around, she's starting to create her own Mohan. Like she feels that she, she is that whom she wants to love. So she tries to design him. And now he gives up his Aishwarya. He just takes fluid in his hand, a pig of feather, she also, you know. Everything, <laughs> and this is Mohan. This is this is, and when we remember what we were reading right now, that came also something to me because it says only in Vrindavan, outside of Vrindavan, outside in Vrindavan, there is no no Prachandananda. When he comes here to the border, you can say Akura God, and when he comes. To the border of Vrindavan, for me that is the border, Akruraga, when he went with Akrura to Mathura, then he dived deep into the Yamuna and he stayed there and Narayan went Narayan Krishna. But Prachendra Nandana is always here. Her Mohan is always here. Never, never, never goes out. So this is what I feel 
at this moment when I heard also Sumiti's word so nicely, I feel I wanted to share this that outside of Vrindavan, there's only God. You can only find God there. And in Vrindavan, in Vrindavan, here, Abhi, here and now, in our Abhi there, here and now, in our body of here and now, <laughs> we can feel it. And, her. and especially her. And when we feel her, and when we are close to her, everything is complete. And this is, this is Manjari Bhav. In Manjari Bhav, everything is complete. Where you, where you respond to the unconditional love. In, in Vrindavan, Krishna is a lover. He's not God. And this is what you can feel here when you when you sing a bhajan. Hmm? And also the presence because they are not different from their names. You call and immediately they are present. So coming back to the starting point, Radha is the first place of Prachandramanda. And after this, she is designing all bring the flowers, the creepers, everything all comes from her. It's her design. All these beautiful colors you can see here every day. Everything comes from her. And it's drenched with love, with unconditional love. Not conditional love, unconditional love. This unconditional love to the best place of the children. Mm -hmm. That's why his home is here, because of her. And when they show all the play times, we are the ones on the wings of the stage where they are acting. We are on the wings of the stage where they are acting. This is playtime with them. And this is all Raza Nanda. Radu Radu. I, I also just wanted to say something very briefly, if I can. Um, when listening to Suniti's uh, beautiful um, realization, how Krishna is trying to serve Radharani and the reasons why Mahaprabhu appeared, one thing came to me was that when Mohan is trying to serve Radharani in the Kunja, we see, we hear often how he fails. Either his hand is shaking, he's fainting, and then the, the manjaris come, Rupa, Rati come and gently kick him away and say, go, you cannot do this today, you know, let us do it. And Shamsundar Mohan is astonished. He sees them and thinks, oh, how fortunate, how blessed these maidservants are. They can really paint Radhika's body. They can wash her feet. They can touch her. I wished I also could do this and uh, Mahaprabhu's appearance is also the reason to bring us this Manjari Bhav, this teaching 
of the manjaris, this experience. So just wanted to add this um, to what uh, Sunita and Raghunath and Guranga Sundar and everyone has already said. Thank you. Beautiful. So good if are you happy? He's very happy, he said. That is my wish. That it happens like this. All each there. Uh, and it's in there. Uh, Goranga Sundar, I know listen anything you say. Yeah. Oh, Ajahn. Sometimes sleeping and sometimes. I'm too tired. They say you share also. I will listen you. I already share you. I already share you. <laughs> Thank you, Gaurav, for, for guiding us so nicely. You did such a lovely uh, guiding us to our guiding deeply. Well, uh, just back for all the mercy of the devotees that I can do a little service at least, give my voice. That's all. The rest is just the mercy of you all and Gurudev and Radharani, of course. So I think we have to long. We have to feel this longing for this, what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was giving us and what Gurudev is trying so lovely to install in us, that we get this longing to do the seva, which was granted us by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and the six Goswamis, especially Rupa and Raghunath. Thank you all for your mercy and your... Is that man? Come on, Shuf. Association. Association, yes.